The best-selling Adam Rooley AR251 injection, venipuncture, infusion and cannulation arm is a highly realistic and versatile trainer for vascular access. The model simulates a highly realistic left male arm with a wide range of access points in the anticubital fossa region of the forearm and on the back of the hand. The arm also features a flexible wrist for added realism, durable silicone skin and is simple to set up, operate and maintain. Before use The arm uses a unique and leak-free pressurized blood system. To set up, use one teaspoon of mock blood powder and add this to a blood bottle. Fill the bottle with water, observing the max level line and replace the bottle cap. Using the armrest, set up the arm as shown, connecting each vein to each bottle. Attach the tube and bulb to the bottle with blood ensuring the orange pressure cap is closed. Ensure the pressure release cap is fitted securely to the cap on the second bottle and pump the bulb to start the flow of blood. Continue to pump the bulb until blood flows steadily into the other bottle. The arm is now ready for use. During use A range of vascular access devices may be used. The arm's highly realistic flashback sensation makes use of syringes or vacutainers near lifelike. Maintain optimal pressure during use by periodically pumping the bulb. Butterfly cannulas, cannulas, application of adhesive dressings and the setup and monitoring of infusions may also be used with the arm. When blood has emptied from the first bottle, the bulb can easily be swapped to the other bottle so use may continue relatively uninterrupted. Simply depressurize the system by opening the orange cap and swap the tube and bulb and pressure release valve onto the opposite bottle caps as shown. Close the orange pressure release cap and pump the bulb to start the flow of blood again and continue using the arm. After use When training has finished, disconnect the veins from the bottles. Use the supplied blanking plugs for transportation. If the arm is not going to be used for some time, it must be cleaned before storage.
flush the system as shown with warm water, allowing to dry before storage.